A high speed crew, which is to cover revolution 5 minutes in 0.50 seconds. Question 1. What is the drill's angular acceleration? Question 2. Through how many revolutions does it turn during this first? Now, the solution to this question, we will first extract our data. It says 2000 RPM in 0 0.50 seconds, which means that our angular velocity is equal to 2000 This revolution per minute, we need to convert it to radians per second. And to convert it to radians per second, we need to understand that this is the same thing as to say 2000 into RPM is the same thing as to say 25. Which is going to give us 2000 times 5. 5 is 3.142. Therefore, you are going to have 2000 times 3.142 all over into 2 times 3.142. Over 60. And after completing everything here, after completing everything here, we're going to have 209.5 radians per second. Secondly, the time has been given to us, which is t. t is equal to 0.506 to find the angular acceleration remember that acceleration is equal to db by dt but in this case we are going to use acceleration equals to omega over t and for what we have here our omega is 209.5 all over T, which is 0 0.5, and this is going to give us sorry, this is going to give us 209.5. When you divide 209.5 by 0 0.5, it's the same thing as to say 209.5 times. Remember that 0 0.5 is equal to 1 over 2 times 1 over 2. Sorry. Times 1 over 1 over 2. Therefore, if you are to use this, this is going to give us. 209.5 times 2 and our final answer for the acceleration is going to be 419 radians per second. The next thing we need to do now is to find how many the number of revolutions, how many revolutions does it turn on? To find the number of revolutions. We will use the formula theta of t is equal to theta of 0 plus omega of 0 t plus 0 of half a 
Alpha. Theta of C is equal to C. Omega of 0 T is equal to C. A from what we obtain here, A is equal to 419 radians per second. Therefore, we have A equals to 419 radians per second. And T is equal to 0 0.5 seconds. Therefore, once you, we insert these values into the formula here, we're going to have 0 plus 0 plus half times 419 times 0 0.5 which is t then you put the square here therefore we're going to have we're now going to have theta of t is equal to 0 plus 0 is 0 then you have half times 419 times 0 0.5 0 0.5 square is going to give you 0 0.25 Therefore, once we multiply this, we can use calculator to get our final answer. We will have something like 52.375 radians per second. But we are asked to find the number of revolutions. Therefore, to find the number of revolutions, we will now say that theta of t is equal to We'll use this 52.375 times the number of revolutions is 1 radian per second. So 1 radian over 2 5. Remember that this is radians per second. Therefore, we, already, we now have 1 radian over 2 5. And don't forget that radian is equal to 5 is equal to 3.142. Therefore, once you calculate this, 2 times 3.142, 1 over this, we're going to neglect this. This is a unit. We'll have something like. It's point three three four. Then instead of this, you are now going to write your unit as rev, which is revolutions. Therefore, we have 8.334 revolutions as our final.